Oh, let's see what's on YouTube today. See who's doing what on a YouTube. Oh, hey. I didn't know this thing was on. Good morning to ya. Oh, I'm sitting here trying to get warm. I got some pumpkin caveman coffee this morning. I tried that. I am a French vanilla woman upside and down the other. Um, it's good. I'm going to drink it. But I'm going back to my vanilla. Yeah. Well, y'all, it's cold this morning. I didn't cut my heat on until 5.30 this morning because it's still toasty in the house and I didn't want to waste my gas. Tim doesn't have our heater put in yet, so I have a three brick heater over there behind that fan. I got that fan down there to push the heat in here. Um, so I've got that cut on and it's 66 degrees in here at the moment. So I'm wrapped up in a blanket and I threw a coat on, a little jacket, and just trying to keep my arms warm. So, good morning to everybody. I'm so glad y'all are up and at them doing whatever you need to do today. And um, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. I've missed everybody. I haven't been posting videos. The videos you saw at the beginning of the week are some that I had. I have had the keto flu this week. I get that for doing a cheat. I cheated. We went to my grandparents' place on a Saturday evening. Before we got there, we stopped and had Chinese. And that morning, I had breakfast and I'd fixed cheese biscuits, bacon, and eggs. Got home and got back on my keto, and it kicked my butt. Cheating is not worth getting the keto flu. I have had the tired, want to sleep all time feeling, and nauseous feeling. Even this morning, I've had the nauseous feeling. Uh, yuck. And see, when I go do a cheat, and I know I'm going over that way to my grandparents' place, there's a Chinese place we like to stop at. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock the camera, y'all. And so, that Saturday, I always drink my caveman coffee, and then we get busy doing stuff around here, you know, with our grills that neither one of us eat. Tim will get him a snack. He'll eat a nab or something, but I don't. There may be a, a peanut I'll pick up or a pork rind or something, but I ended up not eating nothing that day. Because I stayed busy. I had to run and go do things and help him and whatnot. Well, we get there and eat about 7.30. And I ate what I wanted. Because I figured, well, I haven't put anything in my mouth, so I can put whatever I want to in it there. And then that morning, I, we had breakfast. And I said, well, after breakfast, I'm not eating nothing else. And get right back on my keto. <laughs> Needless to say, I got sick. Yay. When your body gets used to eating the keto way, and you go and put all that funky mess back in your body, it's going to tell you, what the heck are you doing? <sighs> My gosh. So today is Friday. I'm probably going to clean a little. So I haven't really done much of that this week. Um, probably going to go through some clothes, some old clothes, and see if I can wear anything yet. Um, I've started being able to get into some pants that I haven't worn in 15 years, which is very exciting to me. I'm so glad I never got rid of them. Because now I don't have to go out 
and buy new clothes. So, I'm going to do that. And if I feel like it, I found a new fat bomb recipe that I want to try and when I do I'll share it with y'all because some of my friends my subscribers you know they're starting to do keto and um, they need some help and you know I'll help whatever I can do I'm a great supporter when it comes to keto you know I started in June June the 22nd 2018 and I have lost a lot and I'm just so excited about that. And I have not posted how much I've lost yet, but it's coming. I'll let y'all know soon. But today is bright and sunny. It's beautiful out there. And um, the grass doesn't need cutting. I thought about trimming it today because, you know, it's really slowing down. My neighbors did theirs the other day. And so mine is, you know, just like a little higher than theirs. So I like to keep up with the Joneses, as they say. <laughs> if he mows his grass, I need to mow mine. It's just the way I am. And so anyway, I'm not really going to, I'm not going anywhere. Usually Fridays I go have lunch with Tim. Not doing that today. I'm going to try to drag my Christmas tree out if I can get to it. Um, once you leave this room right here, there's a hallway and there's two spare bedrooms and they're both jam-packed full. Tim is working on a barn in the backyard um, that we're using from all scrapped wood except the plywood. Um, to make it with so I can take some of that stuff out of these rooms and put out there that I hardly ever touch um, I want to sell that stuff because if I'm not using it and I haven't touched it in a while why keep it it's just taking up room so at some point I'm gonna get in here and start going through stuff and um, have me a yard sale it out here because you all know in some of my videos the traffic that goes by here whoo, constant traffic y'all don't know how hard it is for me to drink this I love pumpkin love it but pumpkin for me needs to stay in the pies need to stay in the desserts <laughs> not in my coffee cup <laughs> I made it it's good it's okay but I like my vanilla so anyway y'all have heard enough about that so I feel like I'm just a pure out slob this morning y'all have caught me in my comfy clothes but we're all like that you know, if we always show our best sides, nobody will ever know our true selves. Is that right? Did I say that right? We all have our moments. We all have. Y'all seen me with no makeup and all that. And I don't like that. I, I did put a little bit of that on. Because I don't like to get up here without makeup. Oh, no. I won't even go to town without makeup on. Nope, 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 nope. So anyway, but anyway, y'all, uh, I had to put a little jacket on because it was chilly. It's going to be in the upper 60s today, so it's not going to be too cool. I did not raise my windows yesterday at all. day before I did, so that helped out air out the house a little bit. Today, I don't know that I'll raise them today either. And I'm, oh, went to Walmart and I found me a candle and I didn't buy that one. But I told Tim about it this morning. I said, I want you to smell that candle and I think that's what we're going to get. And I'll be able to burn that 
for October and November. And it's a pumpkin spice candle. That thing smells so good. And evidently it's popular because um, there was a lot gone. The little ones, the dollar ones, were totally gone. I wanted a dollar one because I could burn it and see how I liked it before I picked up a big one. So, I picked up a vanilla. Because y'all know vanilla candles, um, when you're burning those, they take the odors that are in your house and, I don't know, cover them up or whatever. But um, you don't smell the odors in your house if you're burning those vanilla candles. So I picked up one of those. I haven't cut it on yet, but I'm thinking by 2 or 3 o'clock I might cut it on. I might wait till I might wait till 5 because it's starting to get dark then because then I can let it burn and Tim can smell it. So me, I just burn it all day long, but I don't want to waste it. So, but that thing smells so good. I love candles. I'd burn them all year long, but, you know, they produce a lot of heat. Well, they produce heat in the summer, and I don't want no extra heat in my house in the summer. Got to find me a box. And in the kitchen, you know, that refrigerator that went out is still in the kitchen. I've got to clean the top off, get all that stuff off, and pull all the drawers and everything out. Tim's got to take the doors off, and we're going to shove that bad boy out the back door. Then we're going to haul it to the barn, and I told him we could use that for storage. So we got to get that thing out. And then, that's where the two windows are. And he's going to start fixing one window and the floor and all that stuff to put our heater on. You know, we got to get all that fire protection stuff to put there. So, you know, it's always something to do around your home. I'm so ready to have that heater in here. Y'all just don't know. I haven't had wood heat, I'm going to say over 30 years, about 30 years or so, growing up in my younger days. <laughs> I'm still young. I know my daddy's probably going to listen to this. Yes, daddy, I'm still young. He, he loves to joke, to joke about that. He says, you're catching up with me. <laughs> anyway, um, growing up, we always had wood heat. And, I mean, from my parents to my grandparents' house, um, always had wood heat. That is just the best feeling heat that you can ever have. Oh, so I'm so, I'm really excited about that, that Tim made the effort to build that so we can have wood heat in here. So it's just a matter of getting it fixed so we can burn it. So, I reckon I've bored y'all enough with all of that. I think, I feel okay right now. I was Like I said, I was nauseous earlier. But now I'm getting some coffee in my system. Ugh, coffee in my system. Um, I think I'm going to work on, before I start cleaning anything, I might work on a craft. Because I haven't really got my crap together yet to get up and do anything. Um, I might work on a craft and have my YouTube playing because my YouTube's over here on right in front of me on my computer. So I might play that and work on a craft. And I got some gnomes to make. And um, got to get those ready because I want to try to sell some. Um, they're the cutest little things. Oh, they're so cute. And um, Tim's going to get my stuff straight for my pumpkins. I'm not my pumps. My penguins. We're going to make some little penguins. And uh, stuff like that. Because we want to try to sell some of those, you know. Um, 
I know some kids will really love them. And, of course, us young adults, too, or older adults, you know, we'll all like them. So I want to kind of get some of those ready for Christmas and um, try to sell a few. I like to have a little change, a little jingle in my pocket. So I'm going to try to do some of those. And got some wood projects that we want to do as well. Would have been nice to have a nice, clear weekend this whole weekend because Tim could start on that for me so I could paint during the week. But we shall see on that. When I get some of the stuff done, I'll post it and show them to you. Anyway, jabber, jabber, jabber. Oh. <laughs> I have bored y'all enough. I'm getting off of here, y'all. Um, y'all have an awesome day. I'll see y'all on the next video. And whatever you do, please be safe out there. There is so much meanness in this world. So much. Just breaks my heart that people are so mean. But, in the Bible they tell you how things are going to be. How this world's coming. So, if you haven't read it, read it. You'll already know how it's going to be. Look on that TV and look out that door, you know. Oh. So anyhow, I don't know how I ran it off on that one. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Um, don't know if I'll get a video posted this weekend or not, but if I do, you'll see it. I will try. Because I really love getting up here and doing videos. I, I really enjoy it. And I love hearing back from everybody that, that gets up here. It makes my day. Because, y'all, I sit here during the day. Unless I'm riding up down the road for Tim or whatever. But a lot of times I'm here at the house. And it, it, it's nice for me to be able to hear from y'all. <laughs> oh, God. Let me stop. Makes my day to be able to conversate with you people. So, y'all have an awesome day. And let me get off of here. Oh, God. Love y'all.